The bladders that come in the accessory kit for your HPT 500 are specifically designed for high pressure testing. Let me explain a little bit how they work. There's two hoses connected to the bladder. The outside hose actually is for the bladder expansion. When you apply air to the bladder, it expands into the exhaust pipe or ductwork. The center hose is actually where your vapor is going to pass through and it will connect to the HPT 500 like that. Along with the two hoses, there's also a safety chain. This safety chain is very important that you find something that is rigid to connect it to when you do your testing. Remember your HPT 500 will range anywhere between 2 PSI to 20 PSI. You don't want these bladders to blow out while testing. Remember, 20 PSI is enough to blow these out of a pipe, so you want to make sure you use the safety chain. Also in the kit is this adapter. It's a block off. Remember, there are two bladders in the kit, one for the intake, one for the exhaust. We need to make sure that they both don't flow through and one is capped off. So we cap off and the other one will be connected to the HPT 500 and that's how you get a sealed system. Let's take a look at how the bladders are used on this Cummings engine to test the full system for leaks. You can see that I've got it installed in the intake manifold already. Let me show you how to install the bladder on the exhaust. First thing we do is make sure there's no sharp edges. Remember, these are rubber bladders. We're gonna install it into the exhaust. Make sure you've got your safety chain connected to something stationary. Just in case. And now let's apply air to the bladder. That'll be the fitting with the Schrader valve. Now that the bladder is full, we can go ahead and connect our HPT 500. Remember, it's the outside line that's gonna feed vapor into the machine. We're gonna plug it in, and we're now we're connected to the HPT 500. Now we're gonna use the remote, turn on the HPT 500, and make some adjustments or settings on the machine. So we're going to start by changing the airflow to around 5 PSI. I'm going to go for full flow with low pressure. That way it allows the vapor to fill the whole system with the vapor rather than just air pressure. Now we're going to let this sit and we're going to look for a leak. So after five minutes of pressurizing the system with vapor, I can now see I've got a pretty significant leak at the DOC, SCR, and the DPF system. That's very important for the fleets. Look at the size of this leak. This could cause premature DPF regens, costing your drivers time. You're able to find these leaks easily with the HPT 500, making you more efficient in your fleets for repairing vehicles with drivability symptoms that you just can't figure out. It could be something as simple as this.